Alright, today you are tuned into a lot of fish and TV, and today I'll be making chum channel catfish bait. Well, what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna make a chum, but we're gonna soak it on some shrimp. We got a whole bunch of jumbo shrimp cut into nice little chunks, and what we're gonna do is soak the um, chum on here for a couple of days. But before we get to all that, show you everything I'll be using. Two cans of sardines in oil, but I won't be using the sardines, I'll be using the oil out of the cans. One hot dog. We have a pound uh, uh pound and a quarter of um chicken liver. But I probably won't be using the whole thing, maybe half or whatever I can possibly fit into this. It's not a regular blender. As you can see, show them over here. Yep. Alright, so first thing you want to do is open this, of course. And you want to pour the liver in here with the blood as much as you can. I probably will be able to put the whole thing in here, possibly. I can't put the whole thing in here. Well, yep, it worked out for the better. Then, forgot to let you know I have some shrimp juice from the shrimp. Now you want to pour some of that in there. This is just to make the scent even stronger. And open up the sardines. Now, I won't waste these, trust me, I eat them. So, just want the juice, the oil. The TY oil is so good because what it does is kind of like floats in the water versus just dissipating so easy inside the water that oil helps the blood and whatever else is soaking in to last longer inside the water which makes a great scent trail for channel catfish and you want to be careful because this stuff stinks you don't want to get it all over the place so you want to squeeze that in there real good make sure you get all of it out trust me I will be eating these sardines Last but not least, you want to chop up this hot dog in here. This is the last thing you'll need. It don't have to be fine because it's going to blend up real good. And this is just kind of make everything kind of like chunky with small little tiny bits and pieces of chunks from the hot dogs and the actual liver. And that way when it's sitting in the water, it'll slowly float and it'll make a hell of a scent trail for channel catfish. So I'm going to move these all to the side. going to use this to actually soak everything in once we done so grab the top screw that on there good we want to sit this on here And it's almost like a shake, a chicken liver shake. You dare me to drink it? No one dare do it. What you see? Like a chicken liver shake. Good ways you can do it. You can actually, honestly, if you don't want to use anything like a bait combination with this, you can actually put this in like a, a, a good water gun or you can actually just take this in general and just splatter it all over the place and that way it, it'll still be floating real good in the water now once we do that just take the shrimp see the right here at the bottom a good nice amount of pieces trust me this would give me a whole day's worth you can use any kind of, you can use chicken, shrimp, hot dogs. I prefer chicken or shrimp. I mean, chicken, if you want to do this, you want to sit this, um, once you pour this in here, you want to have this in the refrigerator for a couple of days, two to three days. With chicken, 
three to four days because chicken is so much thicker and to soak in all the goods and stuff takes a little bit longer and for the stuff to settle in you can still see how it kind of, like pouring out is still kind of lumpy you see so that's all you want to do trust and believe me when I say that stuff works very well and it stinks not the best smell in the world so just grab the top put that on there and that's it and you have your chum catfish bait combination 